Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Mackie here playing The Last of Us 2, and in this video I'll show you how to unlock the double barrel shotgun as well as the relic easter egg in order to unlock the trophy for finding the strange artifact. Obviously some minor spoilers ahead. The opportunity to do this happens during Seattle Day 1 during the Hostile Territory chapter. You'll reach a point in the chapter where you enter an alley with a bunch of stores that I believe are Chinese, and all of these little buildings are pretty much optional and all of them have a couple of missable things in them you might want to grab. But the building that really stands out is the pottery building at the end, which is the one that we actually want to get into, but it will be locked. So instead, go across the alley into the last building on the left, and make sure you have a decent amount of resources available to you, just in case you get into a little bit of trouble. Enter that last building, and there will be a staircase at the back that you can go up, and you'll be able to crouch underneath a table to enter the restaurant where there are two clickers. You can sneak past these if you want, but I'm just going to kill them in order for the video to go a little bit faster. Now, I'd highly recommend you also grab the optional materials nearby, and you'll eventually be able to jump across the balcony of the building and go to the pottery building we mentioned before and enter inside. Now in that building, there is a safe combination on the boxes, which is obviously pretty important. And in the next room, you'll also find a literal Easter egg on the table. This is a relic that a lot of Naughty Dog fans will recognize from games like Uncharted and Jack and Daxter. I believe this is supposed to resemble the precursor orb from that series, which was basically just a collectible that worked like currency in those games. Picking this up will also unlock the Relic of the Sage's Bronze Trophy for finding the strange artifact. At this point, what you can do is turn around and drop down the hole to the main floor where you will be attacked, so make sure you survive that. And there are a ton of things you can do once you are down here. You can obviously open up the front gate to link back to the alleyway if you want to come and go as you please. There's also a back room with a ton of little resources that you'll want to pick up. And just before that room, there's actually a desk or the counter where the cashier would stand. And behind that counter is the double barrel shotgun. You'll want to make sure to pick this up if you want to have all the weapons at your disposal in the game. As soon as you pick it up, a bunch of enemies will also spawn. As soon as you pick it up, a bunch of enemies will also spawn. So make sure you take care of them. And we're not quite done with the video yet. There's actually a safe nearby that we will definitely want to crack in order to get a very useful skill tree, especially if you're playing on the higher difficulties. Now, I thought this gun was pretty useful, although I ended up finding myself using Abby's guns a lot more instead. But one thing that is really important about the double barrel shotgun is that later on in the game, you can actually upgrade it to have fire rounds where they kind of light enemies on fire. And this isn't particularly useful against most of the enemies, but is extremely useful against boss enemies, as you can light them on fire and then pepper them with your other guns, causing damage over time. That's where I found this gun most useful, but as a uh, normal combat gun for the rest of the game, I didn't find it particularly great. Now, as an optional thing, you can also go across the street and crack the safe. The combination for this one is... 68 96 89 inside you'll find a skill tree for brawler like i mentioned going to be pretty useful for you nonetheless thank you so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful make sure to drop a like share the video with, fr with a friend a special thanks to everyone on patreon for supporting the show shout out to mr hippo 11 william seaman elder ghost and puffy vins hopefully i see you soon peace